Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have another art haul today and I'm super excited about the box I'm about to open. So I, uh, I'm working on some, a pastel drawing right now or painting, whatever you want to call it. And I needed these really bad. I'm super excited. Toss this over here. Look what I got. The Derwent Pastel Pencils. I have, a, oh gosh, I don't remember the brand of the ones that I do have, but um, there's only 60 of them, and this one there's 72. So, oh, they're so pretty. So I know in each, like, you can get multiple sets of uh, the pastel pencils and get different shades of colors. So here they are. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, and this is nice. It's nice because it actually has the color of the pencil on each one. So that's Naples yellow. So I'm excited. So the, the video I'm working on right now <clears throat> is I'm using soft pastels and uh, pan pastels and then now I'm gonna be using these pencils. So you guys will see that video later. I got some new Daniel Smith paints. They're the Primatech set, and I'm really excited to use these. I also got Moon Glow and Burnt Sienna. So these are such tiny tubes, and they're so expensive. And then I got one of these. This will be my first palette that's a 10. It's by Maiden Watercolor. I think it was like $18, but it comes with 48 half pans. Or I guess you could put whole pans in there, but I don't have any. Okay, this next thing is something everyone needs, especially if they do their art in the basement. Um, I drink herbal tea and hot chocolate and this is great. Well, I hope it's going to be great. It better work good. But it's Mr. Coffee. It has to work. So anyway, I thought this would be cool to, warm, to keep my, my um, drinks warm because they always get cold. And then I don't feel like going upstairs and microwave them. Okay, I got three more canvases. I got a, sorry for the glare, a 20 inch by 24 inch, because they were buy, they were buy one, get two free. So I got two of these. I should have got three, I know, but I really needed the smaller one. I'm doing a commission and I needed this one. So this is a 16 by 20. So I paid, I paid $43 for all three with tax and everything, and I mean, I guess that's not bad. Okay, and I just picked this up from uh, Michael's at their, the order online and then pick up in the store, which I love. So 
this is um, an art portfolio. I have a smaller one and I need a larger one. Because I just put this in. So, what is the size? This is a, this is a 14 by 17. So I need it for my larger pieces like this leaf. Um, I don't know what size this is, but the leaf painting at least, but it wouldn't fit in my, my other one. So I wanted something bigger to put my bigger pieces in. This just keeps them nice and clean and uh, flat because I did have two pieces that got ruined that I spent so much time on because I didn't have them in anything. So my second package just came and the first one. So these are all my birthday gifts that my family lets me pretty much just buy stuff on Amazon with their money for my birthday. So it's always art supplies. Okay, so this is the first thing, if I can get it open. I already have one of these. I have a pink one. And then this is, it's a water, an empty watercolor thing. Well, at least this one's straight. And then this is something that I've been wanting because they're cheap, but they're supposed to be, you know, still good. And I'll show you in a minute. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I got the White Knights watercolors, the 36. This was like $58 on Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I was like so excited to see this because there's so many colors. And they're artist grade. So I watched like a lot of videos on these before I bought them. And I figured like, you know what, for $58, I'm gonna take a chance on them because I'm gonna have so many colors. I really like the the core watercolors in the Daniel Smith. I haven't really tried the M Graham yet, but I heard that they're good. I really wanted a lot of colors. So I know I can mix the colors myself, but I just like color. Okay, so this is like the big palette. See how big it is? So I guess apparently this comes off. And then this is on watercolor paper so you can make your swatches. Ooh, look at all the colors. I don't know what this says. So this is exciting. So they're each like individually wrapped. And I guess I could put these, I originally was going to use that, that other uh, palette to put these in. But I decided that I wanted to use my, use my uh, Daniel Smith, or my, put my M. Graham watercolors in there instead. And then just leave these in here for now. Because they, they wouldn't all fit in that palette. Because it's, it's enough for 30, 
I think 36 half pans, but only 24 full pans. And so that wouldn't fit all these. Okay, the next thing I got is, oh, this looks nice. It's a pencil sharpener. It's just a little, I think the company is, yeah, M and R. And it's nice and heavy duty. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know how sharp a point I can get. Let's see. I'm doing it really careful because I'm afraid. I don't want to break these. My Carbothello pencils. Oh, that looks, look at that point. Look at that. That's nice. So, so this is I don't have my glasses on. Let's see. This is Mobless and Rupert. Oh, Mobless and Rupert. So I got this off Amazon. So if anybody's interested in it. It's a good, it's a good uh, sharpener. Look at that. I never got to, I've never been able to get my um, Carbothello pencils that sharp. Okay, hi everyone. It's been about a week since uh, my last package that I received. So I, um, I decided to wait to upload it because I was getting some more things in the mail today. So I ordered some things from Blick and um, I'm gonna let you see what I got. I can't even remember everything. I know they were having a sale on their paint. So, and I'm in the middle of doing a commission right now, so I've been like super busy. It's all I've been doing is painting. I know I ordered some paint because I was running out. So I got some safflower oil. I have not used this before. I've used the linseed oil. Um, when I paint a little slower and want things to dry a little slower, that's what I use. So I'm excited to try that out. So the first one is some Gamblin Transparent Yellow Oxide. So I have not tried this color before, but I was looking for some more earthy tones. And um I don't know why I have two raw umbers. I thought I only ordered one. So apparently I ordered two raw umbers and one burnt umber, but I go through these a lot, especially raw umber dries really quick. So when I put it on my palette, it ends up drying out um, way quicker than I anticipate you know, the use for it and I end up tossing it. And then I got Payne's Gray, which I was running low on. Um, some brown ochre and burnt sienna. Um, I 
I get used the Professional and the Winton. I don't see anything wrong with using the Winton. It's more like a student grade. Um, I don't really see a difference. Sometimes the color's a little bit different on from the Winton and the uh, the artist the artist grade, but it's not like a huge difference. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys.